that he's sneaking on to this high school campus where he has no business being is to see a girl who's still in high school. Why? Because he watched her story, of course. And we... Call the cops. <laughs> oh, bro, this is pretty good. He know me. <laughs> where? Where? That nigga doing a little... Hey, you want some candy? Where are you too? You know what I'm saying? Check back with another reaction. Today we about to hit, hit a uh, cringiest video on the internet. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I saw the thumbnail. Bro, listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me talk to y'all next real quick. If you're going back to high school, bro, unless you, bro, it's no reason you should be going back to high school unless you have a friend, unless you have a family, unless you, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? People that you know, cool with, and y'all, they actually had a football game, basketball game sports whatever bro and you trying to support them you should not be going back to high school for the fun of it bro you are grown you are a grown ass person bro man female whatever the fuck you shouldn't be going back to have just to have fun bro those are kids like they could consider that as fucking predators bro and you going back to have fun with them bro and i bet you you was one of them same niggas that that, that was a 12th grader hanging out with the ninth graders bro it's a damn shame. You, you you should not be going back to school for that reason, bro. I don't know how niggas do it. I wouldn't do it, bro. Last time I had to go back was when my brother had one homecoming came. So of course I'ma support him. But bro, niggas be out here. Y'all be y'all be weird, bro, with it. I'll be weird. Y'all gotta lock the fuck in, bro. Man, now I see if you trying to pull up on the ten ten year little anniversary type shit. You know what I'm saying? But Sean, you flexed a little bit. But then you can't come back with a grown ass beard. That's what I saw this nigga with, bro. Y'all niggas be different. Y'all got it. It's not me, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I saw about this nigga, bro. This nigga is down bad. We're going to sit watch this video, bro. It's, it's, it's a little crazy. I'm revisiting. Don't, don't, I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm revisiting. Why are you from New York? You're from New York. You're from New York. You're from New York. You're from New York. I bet you that was that nigga crush, too. He one of them niggas that like them 12th grade, 11th graders, 10th graders, 10th grader, 11th grader. And he was a 12th grader, bro. Ain't no way. You talking about I can't. I came back for you. Like, like, no, nigga. You ain't got his beard shaped up. What Guys, today I'm in an exceptionally good mood. So why would I let myself enjoy that instead of ruining it by watching an extremely cringy, hard-to-watch video? Great question. So the other day, I came across this clip of a video. Bro, gotta get... At least he gotta cut. Damn, it's not even in the... <laughs> This guy, you know, he got his face back faded up, bro. Damn. Of this guy returning to his high school after he had graduated. He was going around talking to people that I guess knew him before he graduated, and the whole clip just had a very strange, awkward feel to it. So I looked up the whole video to see what exactly he was doing, like why he was actually at the high school, and just to get the full picture, and oh my god, guys, it's so much worse than I imagined. When I first saw the clip, I figured that he was back at the high school for a reason, and he just decided to go around filming himself talking to these people, but no, the whole reason he was at the high school was just to film and talk to people. Can you say peaked in high school? It's a very strange off-putting experience, which obviously means we have- Okay, bro, what, at what point do you think you, you gotta peak in high school, bro? Do you think it's actually, say you actually working on something, well, okay, do you, do y'all think that it's actually like 10 years from now and you actually just you, you still manifest and you still working on a big ass job but you haven't got there yet but you still working on the shit i believe anything could happen but or do you just think it's all oh, broke people that work a nine to five job what if what if working at mcdonald's was their dream job you know what i'm saying you gotta think about it like like what if working at wendy's was their dream job bro and they settled for that what if having a kid was they like they you know what i'm saying they okay, like people, y'all don't understand, bro. It'd be people that be actually okay with settling for what the world give them. And that's okay, that's cool, bro. You can't judge that, no nothing. But at the same time, it seems like everybody would be telling everybody, hey, uh, she peaked, or he peaked in high school. When damn, like, it'll be like, bro, like, nigga, he, he doing what he love to do. They'd be like, damn, bro, at this point, bro, like, what? Watch it. So prepare yourself for 12 grueling minutes of a guy thinking he is far more important than he really is to the people he went to high school with. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Three, two. <laughs> What's good? What was good? Bro, what if I see my girl, bro? Please tell me. Which one? Uh, I'll, I'll probably say me. I was, I was, I was looking at her story yesterday. You know 
what I'm saying? Hey, me, I'm trying to see you. Whoa. Okay. Um, all right. So we're not even 20 seconds in, and this guy's already admitting that at least one of the reasons that he's sneaking on to this high school campus where he has no business being is to see a girl who's still in high school. Why? Because he watched her story, of course. And we... Call the cops. It's, it's, it's bad. It's bad out here. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, will, he'll work up to that school. Now, I'd be known to be grown-ass niggas, bro, with they fucking beers and shit up in high school, but... Bro, I just left, man. Bro, he need to get that shit trimmed up for real. I ain't gonna lie to you. Know that if a girl allows you to watch her social media story, that means she wants you to show up to her high school unannounced. I mean, can we just talk for a second about how much easier the job for the average detective must have gotten over the last, like, 10 years? People just record the crimes they commit now. This is a criminal case. You can't just walk onto the campus of a high school you don't go to. Especially when you vocalize your intentions to go see specific people. But I mean, anything for social media, right? I never thought I'd actually step, like, foot, like, actual foot on West Point. In about two minutes, the credibility of this statement is going to be essentially non-existent. It's because he ain't no use a senior. We in my I would've been like, I failed. All right, so if you didn't quite catch that interaction, they were going through security, and once they got through, they were surprised that they got in, and the guy said, it's probably because he didn't know you were a senior. And then this guy says, I was just gonna say I failed. Meaning that like two and a half, three months ago, this guy was a senior. This man was foaming at the mouth to get back on this campus. He waited the absolute bare minimum amount of time to come back to this school. This is the first day of school, and he is here bright and early. Matt, look at it like that, bro. In high school, bro, you gotta get up at like 6 a.m. and be at class at 7, bro. Imagine waking up 6 a.m., getting ready, doing your hygiene routine, trying to put on a good cologne just to go back to high school, bro. A high school class. I'm surprised, bro, I didn't get put in cuffs, man. That shit is insane. You never thought you'd see this campus again? You know you're lying. You were dreaming about the first day of school as soon as you walked across that stage. I mean, you didn't even give it time for people to be like, oh, do you remember, uh, what's your name, Rick? I mean, you're just like every other student right now. You've been gone a summer. Like everyone's been used to for 12 years at this point. This is so weird. I don't know why this feels so good. This feels out of, out of my mind. Huh? Oh, no, I feel I'm a super senior. Imagine being this proud to go back to your high school and tell everybody that you failed. Like, what leads a person to this? Because I've watched this entire video, and I've got to be honest, this guy does not exactly seem like he was the most loved person at this school when he was attending. What would bring you back? Stop, stop hunting for freshmen. No, no freshmen. No, no hunting I'm, for freshmen, I'm not, I'm not gonna be photo oh, freshmen. Yeah, so uh, everyone was thinking that this guy just... Want to make the switch to Shopify? Here's how to do it in a few easy steps. Sign up for a free trial at Shopify.com and just happen to say it. It's really hard to believe that that's not at least kind of a motive here. I mean, the guy did open the video by saying he hopes he sees his girl, so uh, who knows? Hopefully not, right? Bro, this is pretty good. He knows me Where? Where? That nigga doing a little. Hey, he wants some candy? Wave. I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to say a little bro, bro. He, 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 he ain't made that, he probably ain't, he most likely ain't made it that way, but damn. Hey, there's me and Matt over here. Oh, there's me and Matt over here. Oh, it turned around. Cause he saw me on graduation. <laughs> yeah, don't go around that. Oh! Again. I'm revisiting. Don't, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm revisiting. I honestly think the saddest part of this video is that this guy doesn't seem to realize that these people aren't asking him, what are you doing here, as a joke. It's not a, oh my god, what are you doing here? It's more like a, what are you doing here? It's 8 o'clock on a Monday. Go join the workforce, man. Why are you at your old high school two months after you graduated? These are real questions. Oh my god. I don't want to be in here, bro. You don't want to be in here? Gotta be honest with you, man. I'm finding that one hard to believe. I mean, this seems like a deliberate decision. You opened the door to this cafeteria. I mean, surely you remember what's on the other side. It's only been a few months. Also, could we quickly touch on how this is the biggest building on earth? I mean, I went to high school with 3,000 people, and this makes my school look like a closet. I'm seeing a lot of new faces. Bro, it's bad. Huh.
okay, thought this one was a familiar concept for most people, but yeah, I'll explain it. So normally, uh, every school year, the people in the highest grade leave and they don't come back, and then the people in the lowest grade move up one, and then that lowest grade has to be filled up again. So yeah, that's probably why you're seeing some new faces. If you need anything else explained, just ask. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. You know what? I might have actually gotten you wrong. It seems like you really do have that Riz. She just called you a predator, which I think means she wants you. Seriously, how do I sign up to be- That's harassment right there. That's for sure harassment. My nigga, he- he getting it, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Guy's friend, the only interactions he's had with anybody are people calling him a predator or asking what are you doing here? This guy's cool. <laughs> I'm too recognized, bro. She like she literally. Nah, she, she, was, like, she, she, she literally be like. She, like, as soon as I uh, like walk to the stage, I thought I'm gonna pose. She was like, "Hey, wait, remember when you were rich and famous?" I'm like. You know Just too recognizable, he says, as like six people have walked up to him out of the school of what appears to be like 150,000 people. I think you'd be okay laying low, partner. I like how they're trying to dunk on super seniors here. Um, My friends, you guys are basically super seniors right now. You're at school on the first day of school of the school year after you graduated. You're basically an honorary super senior, except you don't have to be here, which makes Makes you objectively sadder. Why are you calling me? Hey, I'm just revisiting. I'm just revisiting. <laughs> Mike, go home. I'm just revisiting though. Mm, I can't think of that. What's up? What's up? Hey, bro. I'm gonna get caught though. I'm gonna get caught. I already saw where Brandy was. This guy is having somebody rightfully explain to him that he can actually catch a charge doing this. And staying at this high school and talking to people that have completely forgotten about him is more important to him. That's crazy. The question is crazy. I don't know what to tell. I'm just resisting. But I'm calling my ex. Ooh. Let's look at the right here. I'm just revisiting. Wow. I'm just revisiting. I don't know. I need the boot. I said, I don't know him. <laughs> this is actually wild. He genuinely does not understand that people are laughing at him, not with him. This is going to be one of those things, at least hopefully, that he reflects on when he's like 35 and loses every single night of sleep over. You can never live doing something like this down. She put the hand up. <laughs> Chill, bro. Are you like, you want to come back? You sure just failed at that point. Should I try to fail? Yeah, if you wanted to come back, you asked. That's not if I wanted to come back. Yeah, I'm a super senior. Oh. I like it. No, you graduated as a super senior. She regrets what she just said, but she really don't, man. She's like, oh, shit, I said that shit on camera. No. No, I saw a captain down, and then I went to the graduation, and they called my name, but that was my choice. What grade are you? I Oh my god, Rick, why did why did you leave this in the video? They literally said ooh. You heard that, right? That's not a good reaction if you weren't if you weren't aware. Did his heart drop? It doesn't even seem like his heart dropped after that ew comment, bro. I, if I'm talking to a random girl on the street and she say that, I'm, I'm bro. It's, it's gonna be a time where you go have to go in a car and just cry. You gotta stare at the ceiling on your, on your bed, bro, just looking at the shit and thinking about all times after that, bro. You, there's no way you can just walk away with that with a smile. <laughs> no. You, 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 it's different. Yeah, you, you're different, bro. So are you guys noticing that he's trying to backtrack now? It sounded like he made up some excuse about how he had to pick up a cap and gown. Maybe he's gonna realize how bad this is sooner than I thought. I can holler at you, you a My goodness, this man is the Rizzler. Nothing's cooler than a guy who walks around his old high school saying, oh, I can hit on you because you're a senior. I mean, I'm sorry, but what a loser. I mean, this is basically criminal behavior and he's posting it on YouTube thinking it's cool. This is sad. We out, yeah. gay. But hey, I just had to revisit y'all, man. Are you a sophomore now? I almost, yeah. I almost thought you was like right. still a freshman. The moment you get to class type shit. I actually recording, bro. Yeah, of course. What you mean? We just, we just recorded going back to school for like the first day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's, as super seniors. All right. Mission accomplished, man.
I think, yeah, we're good. The only things that anybody have asked these two are what are you doing here? Why are you recording? And why are you back? And they still somehow don't see anything wrong with it. I'm glad that school, that school definitely felt weird. I know, man. A whole lot can change in two months. I'm glad to have visit y'all for like, you know, like just a game. But like I said, um, next time I come to this, um, be at a game. Yeah, a game. Probably a basketball game. I don't know. I don't like football, so probably a basketball game if anything. So I'll, I'll come back here on this. Bro, you still plan on going back for a basketball game? No, bro. This nigga gonna get in cuffs, bro. I ain't gonna. But this man has not even left the parking lot, and he's already planning his next visit. Can you imagine being so stuck in high school that you start planning in August, four months ahead to come back in December? Move on, man. This is ridiculously sad. Well, guys, for those who haven't graduated high school yet, let this be a lesson. Once you graduate, don't ever go back to your high school unless you're absolutely forced to. You need a transcript, they can mail it. You want to go support your high school football team? Yeah, that's not necessary. You want to go see an old teacher? No, you don't. High school is meant to be a tim okay i only got a pass because my brother he was on the thing bro now of course i'm a support family other than that bro you 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 don't, you don't need to go and that, honestly i need to want to go there bro when i went bro it was uh, like such a weird like nostalgia feeling and it's not the good nostalgia feeling bro it's, it's a weird one it's like bro i ain't trying to be here like you know what i'm saying like but I'm, of course i'm a support family you know what i'm saying but if y'all enjoyed that reaction, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Stay iconic, stay blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. See the love in the eyes of the kid that was lost and it turned to a rebel. Mama don't give up on me.